Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end new and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited to go over the 2022 Winnebago Revel. Now the Revel is the van that's going to take you off road um, to places that you couldn't get in anything else. Um, certainly not something that has a bed and a kitchen and a bathroom in it. So you're gonna have some of the creature comforts of home with you, but then you can be literally out in the national parks. You can be, you know, wake up to breakfast right off the, the, the beach. Um, you know, so many options. It just really opens up the this whole beautiful country to you. Bear with us today. We're having a few weather issues. You can see it's been raining and it's super windy. So hopefully we can get through this. Um, that's why we're at the uh, airport hangar. <laughs> a little bit different backdrop for you, but that's what's great about the Revel. We can take it wherever we need to go. Uh, let's go over the chassis. So this is the Mercedes VS30 chassis with a 3.0 liter diesel engine. If you look at the top of the van, we've got the marker lights on and then our radio antenna. Just to, at the very center of the middle of the dash, you're gonna see like a little uh, triangle with the top cut off. Right there, we've got a camera in there. That's gonna help with the um, adaptive cruise control and your uh, traffic sign assist. So it will actually read some of those traffic signs and then give you uh, information on your dash screen. Uh, nice big windshield so you can see this beautiful country through that as you're traveling in your Revel. And then we've got the um, rain sensing windshield wipers. I'll demo those in a little bit. Those are pretty cool. Coming down to the front here, we've got, so this area here, I'm not going to do it in my dress today, but we've got a step so you can get up and clean your windshield. Of course, you're not going to be able to see this beautiful country through a dirty old buggy windshield. So you want to make sure you get that cleaned off. Behind this panel, there is a radar sensor that's going to work along with the camera for your adaptive cruise control. And then along the front of the bumper here, we've got sensors for the collision mitigation. Um, this behind here, if you ever get stuck, you went a little bit too far off road and you need to be um, towed out, that's where you would hook up a tow um, to help pull you out of that situation. Now let's check and see what's under the hood. So over here, we've got a big space. That's typically where you're um, chassis battery go, but the chassis battery is actually um, right at the front door underneath your feet, and I'll show you that later. But you can jump your, your van from here. So your ground is right here, and then your positive is right here that you would connect to. Blake brake fluid, windshield wiper fluid. This is where we're going to fill our oil, and there is no uh, oil dipstick. So you're going to get an accurate reading at your dash for your oil level, coolant, engine air intake, and your DEF. DEF is your diesel exhaust fluid and you've got a five gallon tank there. You're also going to get a very accurate reading for that from the inside of the dash as well. Remember that DEF doesn't like heat or sunlight um, and it typically has a year, a, a shelf life of about one year. With Mercedes, they give us the high performance LED headlights and the cornering fog lights when you're under 15 miles per hour. On the Revel here, we have given you the optional stylized wheels with the all-terrain K2 tires. Now with the 4x4, you're going to have four extra in inches of clearance, as you can see easily here, and that's going to help you go off-road and go basically wherever you want with this van. Powered, internally controlled uh, side view mirrors, so you can adjust those from inside. You can also bring them in all together, say you're getting into a kind of a tight parking space and you want to bring those in, you can do that. We have the turn signal in the side view mirrors and a blind spot monitor, a little triangle will light up to let you know that it's not safe to change lanes. Check out the nice running boards on the Revel. I know that sounds silly, but it's not. What they've done is they They've taken off what comes standard on the Mercedes chassis, the fiberglass running board, and they've beefed it up. So 
I'm not sure if you're aware that Winnebago makes 75% of the parts that go on into their vans and coaches. So they're actually an RV manufacturer, not just a parts assembler. So I've been to the factory, you need to check out my factory tour video, but they have their um, aluminum extrusion machine. They, they ex extrude their own aluminum, which is really cool to see. Uh, another thing that they do is any metal that's exposed, they e-coat it. So you're not gonna have to worry about rust and all that stuff. So you can see here with this running board, they've made it extra wide. It is super strong. You literally, I can't get it to even bounce. It's through bolted into the steel. So it is super strong. You can see everything's been e-coated. And then I love, we've got the little flying W here that's in the mat and we've got lights and we've got our D-ring here. So the D-ring you can attach, you know, tether a, a pet to it while you're at the campground or if you've got expensive bikes or toys, whatever you're bringing with you, whatever, you know, you bring along to have fun um, outdoors when you take the Revel you can lock it into those D-rings and it will be completely safe. So we've got a beefed up security light too here. You can see that we've got like 10 LED lights there. Most um, vans are just gonna give you a little like one light, LED light. This is really gonna light up the area and uh, you'll love it. So while we're outside and the weather's still holding off, I want you to see this beautiful blue gray exterior color. You have two other options, the pebble gray and the silver. Just inside the front door, I wanna show you a few things. I wanna to mention too that this is no longer a powered door. So manual door, hey, we can do it, right? We're outside roughing it, <laughs> sort of. Uh, right inside the door area, we've got another like heavy duty D-ring here. So if we need to secure something inside the van while traveling, we can. We have the great grab bar, which is also a ram mount. So you can attach different accessories to that. And then we have our fire extinguisher right inside so that you can easily get that to that from outside or inside, which is great. Another thing I want you to check out is Protang, fire suppression system. So one of the things at National Indoor RV Centers, we don't back anything or sell anything that we don't truly believe in. We don't sell snake oil. So um, Protang fire suppression system, a uh, really good product. Go and check out my video on that. So one of the things that I love about Winnebago is that they listen to the voice of the customer. And as I go through the Revel today, I'm gonna to point out different features that they've changed over the years um, to really to, to listen to the voice of that customer and to make you happy. Um, and that's what it's all about. So this is one of them, the refrigerator. So we've got the locking refrigerator and we can just easily open that. So you have full access from inside the coach and outside the coach. So you just want to come and grab a soda. It's right here, easy to get to, and then easy to load when you're, you're loading up the Revel, getting ready to go on a trip. It's just, you know, you don't even have to go inside. Then we've got the light here for our security light. This is the light that's going to illuminate right underneath your running board. Give you a little extra light. Then we've got our awning controls. So we can extend it here and do it in here and then turn the light on and off. Now there's also an app, which I'll show you in just a second, an app where you can be sitting out underneath, you know, in the lawn chair and you can bring the awning out or take it in. And you can turn on the LED lights as well. But to turn on those LED lights, you've got to make sure that you've got the lights on in here for it to work on the app. Then we have the two 110 outlets and we've got a 12 volt receptacle here two more 110 outlet when i get inside i'm going to show you the induction cooktop that's another voice of the customer item where they said they wanted extra counter space so the induction cooktop is um, portable you can use it inside the van or you can take it outside so if you want to use it outside um, grab an extension cord you can put it on the picnic table and then plug it in right here to the rebel so another voice of the customer item. This table used to have a leg on it. Well, guess what? If I'm out um, in Zion somewhere off road and I may not be level, so I may need to adjust that, the leg's not gonna work. So this is a really cool way to, that they you know, designed this to work. So you just push in and then you can move up or down and lock it in place wherever you need it. And then you have a nice sturdy secure table. So we have all of the low point drains 
right here. So easy to get to. So this is going to be really easy to winterize. Also, Winnebago gives you all the instructions to do that as well. Now, if we are lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National and RV Centers, where we store over 300 coaches indoors at each of our locations, always plugged in to 30 amp or 50 amp service, whatever is required. Um, you don't have to worry about winterizing your coach and you can use this you know, all year long because this is a four seasons coach. Now to show you how the awning works from the app on my phone. So I can just easily extend it. Look at the nice uh, awning here, provided some nice shade to get out of that sun. And then say as it starts to get darker at night, you wanna give yourself a little light. You can just hit the light button on and you can pick you know, you can brighten and you can dim that light and then you can just turn it off. The awning does have a wind sensor, but say that it's getting a little windy, you need to retract it. Quick hit of the button and it's gone. So a huge, wonderful, awesome, amazing feature. It's, it's so simple that I can't believe I'm saying this much about it, but I really do love this screened in door here. So first of all, it rolls up and it's super easy to put away. And there's a little bar even at the bottom. So it makes it easy for you to roll it. You know, they think of everything. And then you just zip, zip it shut. Now, almost got my full screened in porch here, or patio, door, whatever you wanna call it. So nice, great, I'm not gonna have any bugs get in. But now every time I go in and out, I've got to zip and unzip the door, normally. But not with the roll off. <laughs> Look how cool that is. So there's just a big magnetic strip, both sides here. So I can go in and out of the Revel, super easy. Don't have to use the zipper. And then I can just shut it right back up. Then at the bottom, so say I've got pets with me, they can go in and out and you can kind of secure it. There's a Vel Velcro strip here and here. If you want it to be a little bit harder for that to get open, but literally you can just seal up the Revel that simply and then break out that easy too. So I've zipped up the screen door so I can just go in and out easily now, but I did want to show you because I can't do it from inside. There's a tab right here on the roll off door. So if the screen were down, that just what makes it super easy to get in and out from the outside. Engine exhaust. And then if you look up here, you're gonna see how this kind of, uh, this is typically where a window would be, and it kind of bows out. Uh, so this is not how the shell comes. It comes with it pre prepped for a window here. But Winnebago takes it, and they add this little pop out here so that when your bed is down, you're gonna have extra length. So you've got a tall person that wants to travel in the Revel, they're gonna have a bigger bed because on both sides of the van, this bows out. Another reason they do this is they can add insulation. So again, this is an all season coach. So you wanna have that extra insulation. You're gonna be able to keep it cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. So lots to talk about here at the back of the Revel. So let's start up from the roof. You can see um, one bar of the cargo rack there. Something interesting about the cargo rack is that you've got, um, for each crossbar in that cargo rack, it will hold up to 40 pounds. So when I get up there on the roof, I'll count how many crossbars there are and I'll do the math for you. Um, we've got the nice ladder here that attaches, locks into place here, and then we can take that around to the side. A lot of times, if you wanna clean off your solar panels, um, the Revel comes standard with uh, 215 watts of solar on the roof. So you, to the, for those to really work efficiently, you wanna make sure they stay clean. So you can easily take this ladder from the back here and take it to the side and clean those off. So right at the very top, we have our Coleman AC unit. So that's an optional item on the Revel. Uh, I get asked all the time, what do you get an extra fan if you don't go with the AC unit? And the answer is yes. So you'll have the, the max air fan in the kitchen and then you'll have one in the bedroom area, you know, workshop area. Then we've got our marker lights. Right in the center, we've got our rear view camera and I'll show you that. That's gonna give you a great view when you're driving down or backing up in reverse. So here at the bottom, you're gonna see 
the sensors here for your collision mitigation system. If you're getting too close to a rock or a boulder, <laughs> um, it's going to alert you so to protect the coach. Uh, then we have the 5,000 pound tow hitch with the seven way for your lights. And we've got a little storage area here for your stinky slinky. Just behind the hitch, Mercedes has given us a spare tire. Something you definitely want to have in this 4x4. You can open these rear doors with the ladder on or off. And then this is a, a locking mechanism for the ladder. I've unlocked it and then you just unscrew it. Set that somewhere where you won't forget it or lose it. <laughs> and then it just pulls right off. Now we can walk it over to the side. And then you can just make sure you're kind of looking where you're going to attach it below so that you're in a good spot. Okay. So securely attached up top and here at the bottom. And the ladder will hold up to 100, 225 pounds. Once you're up there, you'll be able to see the roof access port. You're going to be see, able to see your solar panels. And we've got the crossbar. So we have one, two, three, four, five crossbars or cross members. And again, you 40 pounds per cross member. So it will support up to 200 pounds if you can find a place to put what you want to put up there. Because <laughs> it's pretty full up there with your solar panels. You can even add, um, there's a port for an extra solar panel. Um, 215 up top, that means that you can add 185 as like a portable solar panel. Um, say you're parked in this beautiful shady location, but you need some solar power, you can bring a portable one and then walk that out to the sunshine. So much to show you inside the Revel. This is where you can put all those fun toys that you're gonna, you know, go adventuring with. So we'll just start about the door here, like a nice little cargo space on each side of the door. Then just inside here, we've got our basically what you would call your wet bay. So we've got our shower hose here. So if you want to wash off the bike equipment, whatever your toys that you've been, you know, out adventuring with, you can do that right here. So you hook in and then you've got hot and cold. You can turn on the water pump right here. This is the driver's side security light or um, light so that you can, if you need to dump your tanks or whatever, it, that will illuminate that. Again, Winnebago gives us all the instructions that we need to fill our tank. We've got a 21 gallon freshwater tank and a 21 gallon gray tank. And then you just follow the directions here. Makes it super easy. City water fill. So you've got six tie down rings on the floor of the Revel again, so you can secure all your gear and toys. And then as you go up this side here, so beneath this area is your freshwater tank. So your freshwater tank, all your tanks are above ground. They're above the floor. So you're not going to have to worry about freezing, which is a great thing. Again, that contributes to the all season coach. Nice storage here. Winnebago is going to give you storage, little ventilation for the freshwater tank area here. This is going to be your bed. And then as we go to the roof here, you can see that's going to be our bed that will drop down. I'll show you that once we get inside, but they've given you great containers or you know little cargo nets to hold if it's your bedding your sheets if it's your extension cords if it's your climbing gear um, you could have a first aid kit in here or tools great spot for those easy to get to don't have to dig around all of your gear i love that that's that's what they've given you then as you come over to the side now at the very very top you can see that you've got a 12 volt and two USB. Those will be for when the bed's down, typically. Then you've got the push button lights. On the back wall, we're gonna have light switches and two 110 outlets. We've got a nice window in this pop out here. And these are gonna be the shade covers for the front, blackout shade covers for the front area. And I'll show you those. Now, beneath this panel, you've got your lithium batteries and your Xantrex inverter. I'll show you those when I'm inside. And then over here to the side, we've got the cutoff switch for our inverter. If you're storing your coach where you're not plugged in to 30 amp service, then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you cut, do the cutoff here 
and then up at the um, control panels as well. These are your ceiling lights, two USB charging ports, and this is where you can plug in that extra solar panel, portable solar panel if you'd like, and walk it out to the sunshine. Want a nice, nice storage spot here. You can keep your shower hose there. You could even maybe get your 30 amp um, shore power cord there, two 110 outlets. Ventilation for your batteries and inverter and another cargo area. All right, so I just showed you the roll off on the side door. Now I'm gonna show you in the back. Again, it's super nice because it just unclips. Really easy, you're gonna have that same foam bar, foam bar at the bottom. And I'm gone, I've disappeared. <laughs> so, first thing I'm gonna do is make it so you can see me. Now when I do this, I can roll, I've got another bar here. So if we're sleeping, I can just roll that up and it tucks right inside a little pocket there so it's out of my way. Now I'm going to go ahead and zip up my screen. So now we're, I've got the bed down, we've got the nice screened in porch. This is awesome. So I bet you think I'm done, but I'm not. So many options to show you here. So, say you want, you know, some real fresh air and no more screen. So you will really want to sleep underneath the stars, but be on a nice cushy mattress. You can do that there and just hook that right up like that. So one option. Now, let's say you want to have access to your gear, but still keep the screen up. So you can unzip here. And just roll up halfway. That way you can get stuff in and out without having to open the full door. And then of course, rear access to the back of your van. Something else that they thought of just to keep all those critters out, one nice Velcro strip along the bottom of the screen and then here. So you can secure that and make sure you're keeping all the bugs outside. So I want to show you the battery compartment here. So you've got the two Xantrax lithium ion 125 amp hours. So a total of 250 amp hour batteries, pretty much maintenance free. So you really don't have to get back there to service the batteries. You'll see that they've got little heating pads here. And that's the only reason that you'd come back here because you can turn that battery heater on and off from here. And then you've got your breaker controls, your Xantrax um, inverter, 2000 watt inverter is here. There is a power button there, but you're gonna control that from the front panel that I'll show you once we get inside the coach. Over here on the driver's side, we've got our 30 amp connection here. And once you're connected and you've got power going into the Revel, this will light up, the little half moon will light up blue. Down here, we've got the uh, connect for the sewer hose or stinky slinky and then the T-bar. That is a standard three inch connection. Then just above it, we've got our cassette toilet. Best to push in the bottom button below first, and then the top kind of releases it that way. And then there's a little blue lever here that we're just gonna lift, and then we pull it out. So you can see as when I push that back in, it pulls that back so that the toilet will work from the inside. Let me show you, just pull all the way out here. So this is what opens that valve when you flush the toilet inside and this is just a little vent for the cassette and right here is where you would add um, like a micro blaze that's what we use at national indoor rv centers if you watch my rv 101 video series I talk about micro blaze it actually puts little microorganisms in there that um, do their job and basically everything comes out liquid so <laughs> you 
you'll like that when you're dumping your tanks, I promise you. This is a five gallon cassette tank. Then you can just easily, you know, tote your cassette tank around <laughs> until you get to the dump station. And then you can move this little hose here and do the dirty work. Once you're done emptying your tank, then you can just easily slide that back into place, locks in, and you're done. Again, another nice running board on the driver's side of the coach. And then you're gonna see this exhaust here. That is gonna be for your Timberline hydronic um, heating system, which is gonna be your on-demand hot water and furnace. You may be wondering where you fuel up the Revel. So just open the front door. There's your access to your 25 gallon diesel fuel tank. Inside the front door, we've got the fuses and our chassis batteries are gonna be right below this panel. So I'm sure you're ready to go and check out everything on the inside of it. I think what's gonna amaze you the most about the Revel is how much space you have inside the van and how much storage. So just overhead, we've got nice deep storage here. It's actually deep and then quite deep in length as well. Great storage here. Now I want you to remember that everything has been e-coated here. And then anytime you have a cabinet, it's gonna be backed by steel. So literally I could hang from this cabinet door and it's not gonna move. And obviously, I mean, I can't even make it move at all. It's not gonna rattle when you're going down the road and that's huge. Roof access port. So if you wanna add like a Wi-Fi ranger, you can do that easily right there. Two USB charging ports. 12 volt and two 110 outlets. I've turned around the captain and co-captain's chairs and then we've I've put in the, the table. So this is kind of your living room area. I'm gonna show you some option in this area itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit down. You'll see that the table is at a really nice height. And then I can turn that over here. So if I want this to be my workstation or if I wanna sit in the captain's chair and have that be my workstation, lots of options so right above the workstation here the table i've got 12 volt outlet two usb outlets the ram track now for those of you that aren't familiar with ram tracks you can go online and there's tons of accessories um, different trays and things that you can hang from the ram track so it gives you options and you can check those out on your own then we've got the three point um, safety belt and we also have a lap just a lap belt here. So you can seat belt in four people in the Revel. So I love the windows in the Revel. First of all, they are dual pane tinted windows. Again, that's going to give you better insulation and insulation is all through that wall around the window. Now I can open up the windows and you can just push them out. Super easy to open. And look, I can get full breeze there love that now if I want to have that all that wind coming in I can just do my cassette shade for the screen so doesn't get any easier than that once I'm done with the window I just push pull it back easily closes lock it into place now if I want to black out the window doesn't get any better than that so simple now, I love this little seat because it snaps into place, so you're not gonna have to worry about this cushion moving on you. But when I do move the cushion, I've got a little extra storage pocket. And I'm telling you, you're gonna use every bit of storage that they give you. <laughs> so I like that. And we also have storage underneath the seat. more storage and then our tabletop which I'm with or our kitchen countertop extension which I'll show you here in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and then we've got two more 110 outlets and storage here in the floor. Now while I'm here I just want to show you how easy it is to remove the table and move the tables. Now, when you're done using it, you can just pull it up. Oops. They don't usually come out together. <laughs> that would stay right there, but you can pull that out. I'm just going to go ahead and store it overhead. And 
and I can put that table leg up there also. Underneath the bench, there is the breaker box and fuse panel, and they're nicely labeled. So here's the control panel for the Revel. So I'm gonna go through each of these buttons. So this is your Xantrex 2000 watt inverter, and you can turn that on and off from here. Your solar charge controller, which is the controller for your solar panels, it will let you know what kind of uh, solar charge you're bringing into the coach. This is your solar panel, panel disconnect. So again, if you're storing your coach um, where you're not plugged in, you wanna make sure you turn off your inverter from the back and the disconnect that I show you, the very rear doors, and you wanna make sure you disconnect your solar here as well. One place is gonna give you your water pump. You can turn the water pump on and off from here and give you your tank levels. So they're both empty. Again, they're both 21 gallon tanks and your battery level. This is how you can, uh, basically the cutoff to your batteries and you can turn them on and off here. So you can, I'm just going to press and hold. Make sure both lights come on. All right, batteries are now on. If these were blinking, that would mean that I'm charging the batteries. Lights for the coach. So our LED strip just um, inside the cab. Internal lights and the kind of the main aisle there. Here's your bathroom light and you have a high and a low. This is the control panel for the Timberline hydronic um, heating system, which is going to power your hot water and your furnace. So it's really easy to use and that's one of the reasons that Winnebago went to this system. So you can just turn on the furnace. Now this is gonna work off of, it's powered by your diesel fuel tank, but you can easily set the temper that, temperature that you want it at. And then you can turn on your on-demand hot water. This is basically your settings fan mode, you can set that, how much fan power you want, um, clock, service information, limitation of heating duration. So say you want it to automatically kick off after it's run for, um, I'm gonna say just, you know, three hours. This will, in case you forget to turn it off, it will override and turn off after three hours. So you can set that. Again, just customizing that screen for you. And then this is an electronic heating element. So it will just prioritize and pull more from electric than diesel if you hit this. So this is for your Euro loft, basically your bed. So you can take that up and down. I've got it down right now. You've got to have the key in and turn to the on position. And then you can take it up. And you can see it goes just about all the way to the ceiling. And then if you want to lock it in place, just take the key out because you can't do anything without the key in and on. So here in the kitchen of the Rebel, actually there's more space than you would think there is. Like I can fully, you know, turn around with extra space. Now we've got our kitchen countertop here plus the extendable countertop, which I showed you. It was underneath the bench, so it's really easy to do. You just insert it into the holes, and then there's a little click here. It's going to actually lock into place, and then it is just, <laughs> it's super strong. I mean, there's nothing that's going to bounce or rattle, and you're going to be able to use this as a cutting board if you needed to, because it's that strong. So countertop, faucet, um, single bowl stainless steel sink got a nice little basket here so we can put accessories up there if we need to two USB outlets we've got the push button light and we've got a RAM track here so again we can add whatever accessory we want to there storage above 
and that's nice deep storage and again strong shelf not going to rattle and you can hear that latch shut so you're going to be taking this off-road if you're buying a, a revel i would assume so all these things that securely shut and latch shut you're going to love because you're not going to have these popping open when you're traveling when you're off-roading just makes it nice now this is the cool thing i mentioned when we were outside so this is a voice of the customer item this is the induction cooktop so it's still in the plastic I'll just kind of leave it there for you but induction cooktop so any any pan that a magnet will attach to will work on this induction cooktop so you can go ahead and use it here in the kitchen just plug it in at, or you can take it outside like i said set it on the picnic table or on a folding table and just plug it into the um, right there at the entry step of the revel extension cord may want to have one just in case you wanted to go a little bit further but it's not heavy super light and I, I just love that they're giving you that option and then for some reason if that's not something you're going to use you can easily take that out and you've got an extra drawer so options this button here is the macerator for your i mean for your sink here to pump the water to the gray tank so if you hit this button i'm going to do it real quick just so you can hear it kind of sounds bad right might you might get the idea that that's a garbage disposal definitely not just going to pump that water from your sink to the gray tank drawers we've got extra drawers or more drawers they've added more drawers than they initially had in the first level and that's a great spot because you can put a waste basket there so i love to always have a place where i can tuck that away it's not going to be in your walkway again I want you to just notice how much space we have in the walkway here in the kitchen galley area next to the bathroom and we still have a pantry to look at so pantry here with adjustable shelves wanted to make sure you notice the flying w so do you know the story behind the flying w so john k hansen when he first started the company had his son write out winnebago and he wrote winnebago with the w extending over the rest of the word Winnebago and that's just kind of become um, a tradition so the flying W is iconic you'll see it back on their very first RVs and till now so they use that branding throughout and I just love it as we head into the bathroom I'm just gonna flip the light switch on and then there's a lock on this bathroom as well because you can load this with cargo or you can use it as a bathroom so you can you may want to lock that I would definitely lock it before you travel and then it opens up nicely now right before we get into the bathroom there's a thermistor that's going to communicate with the thermostat to keep the revel um, nice and comfortable whatever you want warm or cold now in the bathroom area so it's a big space here we've got the shelves in here basically to use this um, for extra storage you also have the wardrobe bar so you could hang items if you needed to but i just want to show you how big this is once I take out the extra shelf so you can see everything but again you could put a lot of gear here and then once you get to your destination take everything out and you've got the bathroom so it doubles for carrying a lot of storage as you travel and then gives you the bathroom option once you're at your destination here's the shower head and it's got the little switch on off switch right here on the shower head so this is great you're going to be conserving your water i'm sure if you're taking this off the grid you've got 21 gallon freshwater tanks so you're going to be taking a military shower lather up turn the water off and then rinse um or turn the water off while you rather up you know how that works okay hot and cold and it just plugs in right here and then it's safely secured there when you're traveling you also have a little hook here for a towel washcloth i love that and up on the ceiling we've got a fan so powered fan to give you some ventilation in here which is always needed storage compartment for your shampoo and whatever that way it's not rattling around rolling around while you're traveling and a spot for your toilet paper here now we've got our thetford toilet which is going to go into our cassette um, black tank so to use this toilet you have to turn it but before i do that i want you to notice that there's a little green little display here 
If this is red, that means that the cassette is full. So green, you're good. Red, you need to change it out. And the button here is going to add water. So to make this toilet workable, you have to turn it. And then you can see that this is your little flush. So, and then turn it back so you have more space here. You've got your drain here for your shower and you've got a shower curtain that you can connect. And you've got some air ventilation here on the bottom of your sh um, bathroom doors. So now you can see the bed fully down and you're probably wondering how big this is. So it's 49 by 79. So I had someone that was 6'5", lay on this bed diagonally and they, they fit fully stretched out. So um, that just gives you an idea of, of how big of a space this is. But it really is nice. You've got the ventilation through the back doors. You've got the window here. So oops, big oops. I forgot to mention this with the bed. So once you bring the bed up, you want to secure it with this seat belt um, to take it down. It's not going to work without the key and it's not going to work if you haven't um, disengaged the seat belt and released it. So make sure you remember that. <laughs> it's always good to have those visual reminders. We also have our CO2 detector and our smoke detector is just back that way. Did I mention the big Max Air fan in the kitchen galley area? If not, you've got that as well. Here is the Coleman Mach 10 NDQ, so non-ducted quiet AC unit. And again, this is optional. So if you don't have it, you'll have a fan there in its place. I love this because not only can you control it from here, from the bed, reach up and you can adjust the settings right here. This middle knob will go through the different modes. Uh, you can also do it though from your phone. So you just have to download the RV Climate app and then pair it with the unit. And I can literally just go to, I'm going to go to cool high. Why not? How easy is that? And then when I'm done, I can turn it off and set the temperature all from the app on my phone. Before I leave the bedroom, I wanted to point out another nice ram track here, just inside the bedroom. And then there's one that runs right across the front of the bed. So again, you can check out those different accessories online that you can use in these different ram tracks. And I'm sure you'll find plenty of things that you want to uh, place in there. So lots of things to talk about here on the Mercedes front captain's chair. First of all, it's super comfortable. Our first dial here is going to take the front down or up. Then we've got our lumbar support here. And this is really nice. You're gonna be able to totally customize that to how you are comfortable sitting. So forward or back, and then it can raise it a little bit and lower it. So it's really, really nice. That's a game changer. This is going to raise or lower the seat. And then this dial is gonna be for your backrest. You can extend this piece of the chair to give you a little bit more support. So I've got it extended right now. And then you just, you can push it in or easily pull it out. Right here in the center is the lever that you push to rotate the chair. So you may have to move your chair up to actually rotate. And that's the lever that will allow you to bring it forward and back. Right inside the front door is the hood release and you just pull that forward. So on the front door itself, we have a huge pocket at the bottom for miscellaneous items, which is really nice. Another pocket here and then a drink holder. So that's gonna give you more than one drink spot. Uh, your unlock and lock and then your window controls. A little space here. You can put your phone or whatever. And then you've got the internal controls for your side view mirrors. So you can change those and then you can actually fold them all the way in once you're parking if you want just to, you know, if you're in a little bit of a tight spot, go ahead and fold them in. Here at the dash, we've got our light settings. So I've got it on auto right now, which is where I'm normally just gonna keep it there all the time. Your daytime running lights and your headlights. This also has the auto high beam assist. So if you've got your high beams on, um, driving out in the country and then a car comes towards you, it will automatically dim those until the car's passed and then it'll put your high beams back on. This button 
is your cornering fog lights on the front of the Revel. And this button here is going to illuminate your running board lights, your marker lights, everything basically on the driver's side of the Revel so that if you're pulled over to the side of the road, off the shoulder of the road, um, people will be able to see the Revel. You can also, in tandem with this, turn on your hazard lights. This is going to be the dim, dimness and brightness um, selector for your dash. Windshield wiper control. So you have the um, rain sensing windshield wipers, which is really cool, but you can go ahead and then just turn up the speed at which they're turning. And then the coolest thing is the windshield wiper fluid comes right out of the windshield wiper itself. So check this out. How fun is that? <laughs> so that's definitely those uh, German engineers that they, they liked having it in the actual windshield wiper versus seeing the little tubes that squirted out the water. And you have paddle shifters here so you can manually change gears down or up as needed. On the steering column itself, everything here on the left side controls, gives you information on the dash and everything on the right side is radio controls or uh, controls this panel over here. So we'll just go ahead and go through them. All right, so there's a lot of functions that happen right here on this dial. So you can go to your home button. You're gonna see it up here in the dash area. And then I can scroll through it. So I'm just gonna go into service and then I can go into my def and that's gonna give me that a really accurate um, indication of where my level of DEF is. Tires, this will uh, monitor when the ignition is on. Assist Plus, I need service in 442 days. And the engine oil level. Again, when the ignition is on, this is gonna give me a very accurate indication of the oil level. And particle filter. Drive Assist. Trip, so this is gonna give you a lot of information about your trip, more than normal. And you can just scroll through that from start. Um, this is gonna kind of tell you your driving habits from constant acceleration and coasting, your current consumption, and your miles. Navigation, radio, so you can scroll through some of those options right there on your dash. Media, phone, compare your phone, and then you can go into settings. So vehicle, so you can here, you can decide what kind of um, sensitivity you have on your uh, windshield wipers and keep it at standard. and display orientation. So you can decide if you want to have that DEF constantly on your screen, or you can scroll over and take it away, but I like to have it there constantly. Set it and then go back. Cruise control on and off. Once you turn that on, then you can set your cruise control, resume here, cancel, and then you can plus or minus once you've set your cruise control. So once you're using cruise control and you've set it, as you're driving along, you can now change the sensitivity for your following distance. Our nice horn from Mercedes. Everything over here is going to be controls for your display here, or you can do this touch screen. I'm going to scroll through it over here. Just go to my home button, and this is where I can connect my phone. Navigation. So I can put in my address or I can ask for help. I'll show you that in a second. Radio controls. So you can literally go through your stations. Volume. Pause. Lots of options there. Media, so your aux cord or your Bluetooth. Information. This is mainly going to give you information that uh, you will get while you actually have the engine on apps so you can go here to your browser you can download apps to this and then your settings and this is basically where you can customize this whole screen so 
you can spend hours doing this but you can see I'll just go through display so many options to just totally make this custom for you this is where you can um, pick up a call or hang up a call and adjust the volume and voice command and our favorites button here's the lever for your transmission so you're going to push it up for reverse down for drive and in for park and for each of those modes to work you need to have your foot on the brake to change from reverse to drive and put it into park mercedes has given us the push button start so one push will take us to accessory mode second button will take us to ignition mode and then if we want to go ahead and start it put on the brake starts right up and also if you just want to go right to starting your engine you can just put your foot on the brake and push the button in to stop brake and button and you're all done this is the button for four-wheel drive so to engage the four-wheel drive you need to be going at under seven miles per hour and you can engage it or it might just be safer to pull over to the side of the road engage it and then continue driving this is low mode so this is going to keep you in a lower gear as you're going up a steep incline push button controls below for the display so i can go to my camera telephone map media radio and i can control the volume here go back to my home screen i can mute and turn off the display here this is going to be the quick button to my vehicle um, information and then my seek and scan so we have the ac controls here hot and cold and our fan speed ac button uh, direction where we want the airflow our hazards defrost for the front um, windshield and then recirculating the air for inside the rebel or we can go to outside and then our rear defrost drink holders cup holders love that we've got several different options big and small right below we have the 12 volt and the USB-C charging port and then just below that there's a little hole there if for some reason you get a message that your key isn't connecting with the coach you're just going to go ahead and reset the key right in there and then it should be working we're not finished there's more more cup holders two on each side how about that nice little space where you can store items and then you've got the directional fans that you can adjust for your defrost and a little secret compartment there so you've got um, USB-C where you can plug in your phone and then mirror that on the screen USB-C charging ports and a 12 volt outlet and I'm not done yet. One more thing that's super cool, wireless charging pad. So just lay your phone down there and I just heard it engage, it's charging. All right, in the center console here, we've got the light. So if we want it fully illuminated, we just hit that center light. When we have this, we'll get the lights, will come on when the doors are open. So right now I have the doors open but I can disengage that too if I don't want the lights to come on when the doors come open. Reading light for the driver, reading light for the co-captain, and then this button here is for the raw chassis. It would be a dome light in the back, but we have changed this chassis up. Here is an emergency call. We can call Hey Mercedes here, and then this is our SOS button that you have to open this up and then press that button to get help. Just beyond that, sunglass holder, rear view. Just a few more things to talk about here on the passenger's chair. So right below here, we've got access to the cables below that. Down here, we've got the jack. And then we've got storage here and the same storage in the door. I went ahead and put up most of the blackout shades. I wanted to show you just a little bit how easy it is to do. So passenger side is up. I did the front. And that's just all one piece threads through the rear view mirror and then you put your visors down to hold it in place 
Then on your driver and passenger side, you want to look for your little key here. That's going to be your driver's. You've got a P on your passenger. I'm just going to open the door so I get a nice secure fit. You've got little magnets in here that are going to help hold it in place, but they won't hold it in place 100% until you shut the door. So I've got it in place. I'm just going to hold it right there, shut the door. So I've got the blackout shade up. It's there nice and secure. I'm going to have to open the door to actually take that out. But this is going to make this completely dark black up front. So great for night, for privacy. Um, but this is also really nice during the day because you put these up and it's going to help insulate the coach and keep it cooler on the inside. All right, before we get ready to go on the road, you want to just get situated and make sure everything's comfortable. So armrest to adjust that. You need to take it all the way back up and then you can pull it down, bring it back to the right level. Perfect. You can also adjust the steering column, the lever here. You can telescope that out. I think I like it that way and bring it down. Just lock it into place. Get your seat belt on and we're ready to hit the road. One more thing before we get started. I just want to note that since 2019, Mercedes has added 22 new safety items. So first thing up is camera and parking. So as you're backing up, you're going to be able to see where you're backing. And then you've got all those sensors around the back of the van um, to alert you if you, you know, going to hit something like a big old boulder or something. Then we can go down to our traffic sign assist. So again, it's watching for traffic signs, speed limit sign, and then it will let you know what that is up on the dash active lane keeping assist so you can turn these things on or off if you don't like them but again there are safety features that they've built in to this chassis that i think are really cool active brake assist so it's when you're in cruise control and have your adaptive cruise control set it's going to it will actively brake if needed if you get too close um, with your following distance attention assist okay it's telling you it can tell because it's watching your driving habits and so it's saying it's time you need a little coffee break or get out stretch your legs grab a diet coke whatever it takes for you to be more alert but it can tell that you're not driving as you normally do blind spot assist so this is great as you're going down the road if you decide you want to pass and there's a car in the lane to the left of you or the right of you it's going to give you an alert in your um, side view mirrors. So those are just a few of the safety features along with you've got extra airbags throughout the cab here. Lots of things to keep you safe and enjoying your Revel for a long, long time. So now the fun's going to begin. We're going to take the Revel out on the test track. Now I really wish I was in some gorgeous national park, Badlands or Zion or Moab. How fun would that be? Um, maybe that's a, that's a trip. That's something I need to tell National Indoor RV centers that they should spring for, right? Shouldn't we be in like Moab doing this? I think so. Winnebago would be on board. <laughs> All right, let's go test it out. All right, as we go through this little test course here, we're going to hit different um, kinds of uh, terrain. So this is a really bumpy, bumpy road and you don't hear a bunch of stuff rattling around. Obviously there's some rattles because my goodness, you would have to be like super sumo cushion to not <laughs> have any rattling there. Okay, hold on. I think we have some more rumbles here. Oh goodness. Okay. Now this is, you know, just a little tester. If you want to come and really, okay, this is what surprised me. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we're, we're in Moab now, guys. We're going over some boulders. Let's just pretend. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. Woo! We survived. Tall mountain here. Whoa. Okay, that was scary. I wasn't sure what was on the other side. <laughs> That's the beauty. The Revel is uh, going to get you up and down, no problem. So I went ahead and put it into four wheel drive because we're going to do a little climb in here.
Honestly, I'm amazed at how well this handled because I felt a little bit unsteady there. And here we go. Okay. Okay, come on. Got to get my four wheel drive. All right, I made it. Woo! <laughs> All right, so the really the only way for you to truly come and experience a Rebel is come to National Indoor RV Centers, take one for a test drive. Sorry, I may not have this cool of a test drive track for you, but that's why I do the videos. And then you can just start planning your next adventure at one of our beautiful national parks. Um, so many adventures that you can have in this rental. I hope you've had as much fun today with me going through the 2022 Winnebago Revel. Now, like I said, you've got to come out and try it for yourself. And I'm sure you're wondering what it would cost you to own one of these Revels. So MSRP is $190,612. If you want to find out how much I can sell it to you for, please give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers 469-277-1330 or go to our website nirvc.com. We try to make the whole buying process super easy. You can finance this for 20 years and we can do all that financing for you. We take in trades, consignments, we do direct buys, whatever it takes to make you happy, put a smile on your face and get you out enjoying the RV lifestyle as soon as possible. With our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. Now, if, you, if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more just like it, please hit the like and subscribe. Also, go and check out my RV in 101 series the Winnebago Factory Tour, and Protang. Thanks so much for joining me today and have a wonderful day.